kind of hobnobby and be to Hushka Opi Miha. So I'd like to welcome you back to Uncovering Your Roots with the Autonomous Party. I'm your host, Opi Miha, and this is Genealogy 101. So on today's video, we're going to be covering the free Negro heads of family in the United States in the 1830s. Okay. So this book is written by Carter G. Woodson. Um, I would actually say it's a pretty important book. Um, if you haven't had a chance to read through it, it is available on archive.org. Uh, definitely look for that book, uh, get into it. Um, so you can actually see the different states. So what this book is going to do, it's going to break down uh, some things in the beginning. So, you know, definitely read through it before you get to the part where it lists the names in each state and county. So go ahead and read through the book, um, you know, get some knowledge, get some explanation of some things before you dive into it. So we here at the Autonomous uh, Network, we've gone over this book on Clubhouse, you know, we we first introduced this book and read through it there. Um, I wanted to do it here for the actual channel. So what I'm going to do before we get into the names, I'm not going to go through the, you know, the other parts of the book. I'll leave you to do that on your own. What I'd like to do is we're going to go through these states. So this particular series here, um, it's probably going to be a long series because, again, there's a lot of names in each state, a lot of counties to cover. So I would like to try to get through all of them if possible. So as you can see on the screen, the first thing I wanted to do is before we get into reading the names and the states and all that different stuff, I wanted to read the explanation of the tables. So as we go through the names, you're going to see um, different explanations at the ends of the names. So that way you can have an understanding of what it is you're seeing. OK, this book also has um, its sources listed inside the book. So if you're wondering where they got this information, you can look through the book and find your sources. What I always encourage you to do is when you see a source and you're going through, you know, the book, highlight it, copy and paste it into a Google search. It should take you to where the source was found. So uh, that way you can get, you know, more in depth of what it is that you're searching. OK, so let's go ahead and get into the um, the book here. And when, like I said, we're going to read the explanation of the tables. So it says, these were not all of the free Negro families in this country in 1830. So I just want everyone to realize that not every single family is listed here. Um, there are some that are missing, but I'm pretty sure that you're going to find some of your family in this book. Especially if you've been in an area, you know, most of your life and you know that's where your family's from. Okay. It says, but all of it says, but all of those officially reported as living apart from the whites, many free Negroes lived in the homes of their employers, lived in the homes of their employers as did indentured servants or slaves. Some few of these are herein confusingly reported, but such information was not generally given. These records were copied just as those who took the census returned their findings. The only change made in the case of the free Negro heads of family was to write the Christian name first, a rule which these enumerators did not all follow. It says some enumerators made no distinction as to race in recording the names, but merely indicated the status of the head of the family under free person of color. Other enumerators wrote Negro, colored, 
or excuse me, they wrote Negro, the letter C, C O, C O, C O L D, or colored, or used F dot N dot for free Negro, F or C for free person of color, F M C for free man of color, F W C for free woman of color, or F B and F B K for free black directly after the name. Other records of distinction are self-explanatory. The question mark after a name or a figure or in a column indicate that the record is such that the fact could not be accurately determined. A column giving the age does not every time show the age of the head of the family. In some instances, the age of the head of the family cannot be exactly figured out. The age here given is that the oldest person in the family of the sex indicated as the head of the family. In 80% of the cases which the investigator has tested, however, it can be shown that this is the actual age of the head of the family. Okay. The record as to sex, moreover, is often confusing. The name of the male is sometimes given as the head of the family while the sex is indicated as female or vice versa. Okay, so 10 to 24 means 10 years of age and under 24. 24 to 36 means 24 years of age and under 36. 36 to 55 means 36 years of age and under 55. 55 to 100 means 55 years of age and under 100. 100 etc. means 100 or more than 100 years of age. And it says total means the number of persons in the family together will follow the slaves. The slaves owned by these families have been accounted for in the editor's free Negro owners of slaves in the United States in 1830. So that is another one of Carter G. Woodson's books um, that I would recommend reading as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. So we read what all these things mean. Okay, so we're going to start with the state of Alabama. Now, the one thing I want you to keep in mind, I always tell you this in the videos, is pay attention to the names, pay attention to the locations, and pay attention to the date okay so again this is the 1830s so as i always state and i always say you know this is during the time and these are in the areas where slavery should be super heavy okay so just you know keep that in mind these are free negroes um free heads of families so I want you to keep that in mind, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So we're in Alabama. In the first state or the first county we're going to tackle is going to be Ottawa County. Okay, so like we were reading above, there's a total of seven people in this family in ages 10 to 24. Okay, so... Our first person, it's a male. That's what the M stands for here. So you start to see this. So I'm going to blow this up actually a little bit. Make this nice and big for us to see. And let me back it off just a little bit. Okay, I should be good. Okay, so our first person is going to be M. Gersif. It's so obviously a male. And like I said, 10 to 24, there's seven people in this family. All right, next we're going to Baldwin County, Alabama. We got Lucy Robinson. We got Basil um, Alexson and Judith Bowden. So you got a male, two females. Okay, and these are the people in their families, the age ranges. Next, we're going to go to Butler County, Alabama. And we got Nero Hurley. All right. There's his info. Next, we're going to Clark County. So we got James Makes, male. People in his family, the ages. 
We got Joner Bandyham, male, ages, people in the family. We got Jordan Artis, male, ages, people in the family. We have P.T. Harris. Okay, so this is a female, ages, and how many people? So there's 25 people. So like they were saying before, this could be family members. They included the slaves if they owned any. All that's included in this family. Next, we got James Bonney. Male, age, people in the family. Next is William Hatcher. Male, age, people in the family. Then we have Joseph Stapleton. Uh, male, ages, people in the family. And last in this county, we have David Monick. Male, ages, people in the family. Or in slaves obviously all right next place we have is uh Konica county alabama and we got lydia bethany uh, it's a female ages and the people the amount of people in that family next that was county alabama we got rachel king see them for there we got bennett proctor uh, you can see ages there and the people in the family. Next, we got George Locklear. Okay, names, people in the family. Then we have John Locklear. Again, names, people in the family. And then we got Tom Smith. It's the last person in this county. The names, uh, or the name, the ages and the people in the family. And then as we go through this, you're going to start to see um, a reoccurrence of the same names in different states. So I want you guys to key in on that as well. Okay, so our next person or the next area we're going to hit is Franklin County, Alabama. We got James Price. And you can see his info here. We got Robert Tuscumbia. All right, you can see the age it's just him we got Joseph Hill um, again it's just him we got Julia Marineth okay her her uh, info here to the side and the amount of people she has we got two John Kennedy's here so uh, one of them has six people you can see the age ranges the other one has just one person then we have Mark Miles. All right, you can see the age and just him. And then the last person in Franklin County, Alabama is John Black. Male, you can see the age and it's just him. All right, so let's move on to Green County, Alabama. We got George P. Wright. Um, you see the ages and there's five people. We got Jackson County, Alabama. So this is gonna be Lewis Willis. The ages, three people. Uh, Joshua Warford. Uh, the ages, two people. Okay, that's the only two that they have. Free Negro heads of family for Jackson County. Um, let's see, next we have Jefferson County. Only person listed there is going to be Susan Watton. Or Watton. Um, just her. And you can see the age range. Next, we have Lauderdale County, Alabama. We got uh, Thomas Sands. See the age range, and it's just him. We got Charles Bolin. Age range, just him. We got Fred Gowen. Age range, and there's four people there. And then we got Quiller Prater. Um, age range, and it's just him. All right, our next county is going to be Lawrence County. Okay, Lawrence County. We got Winnie Brownlow. Uh, the age range is four people. We got Lewis Royal. Age range is uh, three people. We got Edward Smith. Age range, four people. John Bird. Age range, five people. We got Nathan Bird. So we got two different spellings of the surname Bird. Uh, age range is six people. We got Riley going. Now, above in the other county, we had a different spelling of going. 
but these are the two different ways that you can spell spell these names so we got the age range two people next we got osborne lakati uh, age range six people next we got another william bird um age range five people then we got ezekiel porter age range nine people okay so next we're going to limestone county alabama we got will scott age range three people john lewis age range three people john thurman last person in this county age range five people all right so next we are going to move to madison county alabama highlight that real quick okay so we have betsy davis female age range seven people james f stewart the age range three people lucy welford and i think we might have saw another one of those up top one of the other counties female age range seven people taylor raglan age range two people james matthews age range two people then we got john robinson the age range there seven people next we have pascal blanks uh, the age range four people and then we have lewis hunt the age range or excuse me age range four people all right so with these you have to move to the center column and go back up to the top and we're still in the same county so we got nancy hunster age range eight people we got morning venting um and it looks like for her it's just it's just her jenny finley female um age range two people lucy mckinley and it's just her we got john kelly and william richardson and it looks like it's those two and yeah just those two we got william stoneham or stoneham uh, the age range is him jeremiah smith the age range five people john evans the age range uh, three people millie fennel we have the age range of five people uh, andrew Wynn, w-i-n-n age range three people next we have charles sampson um the age range five people Burwell Jacobs, the age range five people. Then we got Isaac Jacobs, the age range or age range eight people. John Jacobs, the age range and thirteen people. Okay, so these three Jacobs could possibly be related, but um, you know again. Uh, we don't get to see the other people in the family. We're just told how many people are living, you know, under this head of household. All right, next we got Mobile County, Alabama. All right. Put this up a little bit so we're good to go. Okay, so we got Mary Louisa Craze. Female age range, six people. We got John Brown. It's just him, one person. Erlena Lang, female, she's got three people. Maximilian Collins, he has eight people. Then we have someone named Minnie, so there's no surname listed. There's six people. We got Lawrence Key. Um, there's 11 people. Teresa Chastain um, says it's over 100 and there's three people. We got Felix Seymour. Um, age range 10 people some more Coderin. uh she or excuse me he has eight people with him sylvester andre um he's got 10 people we got meta michian andre so these two people are probably related uh 15 people we got jane seymour uh, 13 people and I think we saw yeah there was a Felix Seymour but we got Basil Chastain so we got another Chastain uh, 10 people 
We got Batiste Chastain, three people. We got Zane Chastain, three people. Charles Chastain, uh, it's just him. All right, next we got James Sear. Uh, it's just him. Next we got Zeno Chastain. Uh, he's got 15 people. Louisa Chastain has 19 people with her. We got Mary Teresa. Uh, it's just her. David Weaver. He has eight people. Joseph Yummer. He is just him. Then we got Nancy George. She has four people. Then we got Jasma. Nicholas, which is a male. Um, he's got five people with him. Okay, so next we're going to go to the city of Mobile or Moba, Mobile. Uh, again, we're in Alabama. So we have Francis Root Garan. Root Garan. Uh, he has two people. We got Margaret Collier, six people with her. We got Clara Furrer. She has six people with her. We got Manette Nicholas. She has seven people. We got Jamina Barton. She has three people. Uh, Venus Godfrey. It's just her. We got Richard Field. He's got two people. Joseph Collins has three people. Delilah D. Silver. It's just her. We got Alexis Bodlina. So that's going to be a male. He has three people. We got... Um, where were we at? Cyrus, sorry. We have Cyrus Jarvis, just him. Eliza Barrington has two people. Frank Batiste has 10 people. Nancy Fonts has eight people. Constance Valer, and that's a female, it's just her. Louisa Duran has four people. Uh, Benjamin Laurendine. Has seven people. Then we got Bernard Dawes Rosiste has 32 people. Okay, 32 people with this family. So as they were saying before, it could include some slaves, you know, in the family. Next we got, so this is a female. So I'm thinking this is probably Madeline or Madeline Ogile. Um, the age range has 10 people. Joshua Chastain, uh, one person. Joseph Collins has six people. Janny, Janny LaRock has two people and that's a male. We got Louisa Constance, it's a female, just her. Uh, let's see, we got Francis Chastain or Chantain. I'm thinking that's probably supposed to be Chastain, but we'll go for what it says. Uh, seven people. Uh, Diana Pilma, five people. Mary Lacaste, two people. Madeline Moreni, female, four people. We got Pierre Chastain, three people. Grace Sharp, female, eight people. Finney uh, Trinier, uh, she's got eight people. Next, we got Louis Joseph, uh, two people. Francis Gregg, eight people. Uh, Madeline Mary, she has eight people. And we got Madame Barnum, two people with her. We got Pierre Rosist, Rosisti or Rosist, 14 people. We got Madame Mare. Uh, let's see, that's going to be Madame Mary. She has three people. Madame Gerard has six people. Isabella Morel has two people. Uh, Madame Louisa has five people. So the MADs up here are probably Madame. So that's my apologies on that. We got Isabella Morel has two people. Madame Louisa has five people. Uh, Rosette Garon has five people. Then we have uh, Pierre Laurendine 
uh question mark there three people and then we got mary zara seven people all right so let's move over to the final column go back up all right so again we are in alabama and we're still in that same county so we got ed cooper two people charles lalong jr two people rosest alexander 12 people margaret jarrett seven people Jeanette Rosest, female, seven people. Manasset Bodell, five people. Uh, Francis Marlin, four people. Then we got Jose P, or Pi, um, seven people. Horace Lolong, ten people. Philip Jose Goodboy, five people. Charles Lolong. 17 people uh marceline bodil five people david scott it's just him uh baxter Armstead, just him sylvester bob that's going to be just him thomas deacon it's just him then we got joseph espajo or espajo uh, it's just him we got Madame Roshan. She has 23 people. William Wise has four people. Joseph Torbett has four people. And Thomas Lewis has one person. It's just him. All right, so we're going to move on to Monroe County, Alabama. We got Jane Lynch has six people. Hampton Hughes has two people. Sinai Harris has four people. Thomas Haithcock has three people. William Smith has seven people. Arthur Sizemore has eight people. Susanna Sizemore has seven people. Philip Gibbs has three people. Gatsy Lynch, female, has three people. And Daphne Hale, it's just her. All right, so next we're going to move to Montgomery County, Alabama. We got Buckner George. And remember, we were talking about the different abbreviations. So this is going to be free person of color. Eight people. Then we got George, free Negro. Two people. We got Oxy Fowler. Uh, DE, three people. We got Gerard Hankerford, five people. We got Allen, says free free person of color so two people arthur evans has nine people uh william Hill hillard or hilliard had he is a free person of color he has 11 people joseph lanton free person of color has 11 people and frankie demery has four people all right so we're moving on to morgan county we got rebecca going so here's another way to spell going seven people we got joseph porter nine people uh rhoda martin six people uh sally johnson has five with her five people okay so next we're going to move on to perry county so we have frederick v thomas he has eight people with him then we got wiley Chav chavis or chavis so this is another way to spell the surname Chavis, one person. All right, so we're going to move on to Pickens County, Alabama. We got Abram, Abram Manso, two people. And then we got Stephen Dunson, 10 people. All right, next is going to be Pike County. We got John J. Joy. Uh, two people. Then we got John Hagen, one person. Next, we're going to Shelby County, Alabama. We got Isa Hatsey, 12 people. Our next place is going to be Tuscaloosa County. We got James Abbott, four people. C. Harrison, one person. James Fenner, three people. Levin Johnson, one person. And we got Solomon Petit, six people. 
then we got Zedek Love, seven people. All right. Next is going to be Washington County. So we got Jack Sewell, two people. Daniel Reed, 10 people. John Sinasha, three people. And then our last county for Alabama is going to be Wilcox County. And we got, excuse me, we got John Martin with three people. All right. So when we come back next time, we were going to hit. Actually, let me do Arkansas real quick because it's not a real big um, list. So let's go ahead and run through that real quick. So this is the state of Arkansas and the first county that we have is going to be Arkansas County and this is the township and village of Arkansas. So we have someone there named Celestine says it's a male, the only person. And we got Jacob County. We got JP, uh, excuse me. We got Jacob Gaynor, uh, just him. Then we got James Shavers just him and we also have Mary Anderson a female and she has five people next we're going to move to Crittenden County we got Edward Cherry has two people and then we have Independence County Riddell Township uh, we got Harry Cr Harry Coran it's just him next we're going to move to Christian Township we have Daniel Earls it's just him our next place is going to be Izzard County. We got David Hall, 13 people. Randolph Carter, 9 people. Martin Turner, 3 people. Uh, we got Peter Calder, 4 people. And James Turner, 3 people. All right, our next county is, uh, let's see here, Lawrence County. We got Amy Stewart, 7 people. We're going to move to Lafayette County. We got Free Bob, uh, no surname, uh, four people. Then we got Phillips County. Move this over so we can see that. So St. Francis Township is Henry Brown, it's just him. And Chloe Martin, the female, is just her. Next is going to be Mooney Township. We got William Stewart, three people. Then we have Pulaski County that highlight it okay so we got millie francisco three people fanny gaskins seven people patsy goings so we got another spelling of that name three people then we got shattery corals two people and our last county is going to be washington county we get that highlighted and then we got delay ivy five people all right so again um i want to thank you for taking the time to come out to check out the video and i hope you paid attention again to the surnames that we read off uh the dates of course and the area that we're reading so when we come back next time we will try to tackle as much as connecticut as we can i know that's a pretty big one uh so we may do two or three parts for that but um, as you can see in Arkansas and Alabama, you know, we got free Negroes or free people of color, whatever you want to call, you know, whatever word you want to use. These people are free. They're not slaves, you know, living in uh, southern places where slavery should have been pretty heavy. All right. So I appreciate everyone for coming out and um, I will see you next time on the next video. Take care of yourself. I'm out of here. Peace.